I have iOS App Signer for IPA, Deb, App, um, K, Charvive, K Charv, and packages. So, Sign Panther is one of the most popular apps to sign IPA files and to silo them on iOS devices. In order to install the signed apps to your device, you can also try free iOS App Signer for IPA, App, and um, Dev files. And uh, um, at Scratch Drive packages, the software is available for Mac OS only. Store is iOS App Signer. It's a free Mac application to sign IPA dev app. Um, and like I said, it's archive packages um, and silo them um, on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. We sign apps and bundle them into an IPA that is ready to be installed on your iOS device. To make the app work, S code is required to be installed. Um, you say you have your IP, you have the iOS App Signer right here. Scroll down, you need a provisional profile and sign a certificate from a new project in Xcode. Open up the iOS App Signer and select the import file. Sign a certificate, provisional file, and op um, optionally spe specify a new application ID and or application display name. So on, this, on the this developer website, um, so how to sign IP files with iOS App Signer and Xcode on the developer website. You can tap right here for the website. You can find a detailed tutorial on how to install IP files in this method. Um, Danielle provides also screenshots for every step to silo apps with the iOS App Signer and that's good if you're not familiar with the IDE. So this runs you through the steps, uninstall it, and then also you do have the change log of the recent updates. So really quickly, um, you want to install Xcode, open up, agree to license agreement, easy enough, plug in your iOS device, and then select as a build target. So basically read your device, you want to select your device, and then um, you want to open Xcode and you want to create the iOS application. So you go to open Xcode, type the... Uh, I mean, I create a new iOS application and then type in your name and identifier. As Go will complain about the lack of provision profile, click fits issue. And then you want to sign in with your Apple ID and you want to download the iOS app signer. Then you can download any IPA file you like to install on your device. Open an iOS app signer, select the IPA. You just download it as an input file. Click start, return to Xcode, and then go to the menu bar. Click Windows devices and you can find your device. Click the plus and then select the file created by the iOS app signer. So it's that easy, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.